Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 versus Dimensity 9400? This is the battle everybody wants to see, because these two are basically the kings of Android phones right now. And trust me, the differences between them look small on paper, but in real-world use, they actually feel very different. So let's break it all down in simple English and see which one is truly better for gaming, speed, camera, and everyday use. Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 comes with a crazy fast CPU, two big cores running at 3.8 gigahertz and six performance cores at 3.32 gigahertz. Dimensity 9400 goes with one super strong Cortex X925 at 3.62 gigahertz, three X4 cores at 3.3 gigahertz, and four A720 cores running at 2.4 gigahertz. So what does that mean in real life? Snapdragon feels stronger when the phone is under heavy pressure, like when you have many apps open or when you're playing a game that uses all the CPU cores at the same time. Dimensity feels strong when using apps that depend on one powerful core, things like simple apps, UI animations, or light tasks. Both are built on 3 nanometer process, so both are very efficient. But Snapdragon hits higher speeds in 5G and multi-core tasks, while Dimensity has a bit more GPU frequency and faster memory, which helps in loading textures and assets in games. Now let's talk benchmarks, because numbers always reveal the truth. In Antutu 10, Snapdragon scored 3.56 million. Dimensity scored 2.56 million. That's a big gap. Snapdragon clearly wins in raw power. But in Geekbench single core, Dimensity actually pulls ahead. Snapdragon, 2,749. Dimensity, 2,874. So Dimensity is slightly better in single core, but in multi-core, Snapdragon shoots back up with 9,860, beating Dimensity's 8,969. What does this mean for you? Snapdragon, better for multitasking, emulators, heavy games, and anything that needs all the CPU power at once. Dimensity, super smooth in daily tasks and apps that don't need many cores. Now the big one, gaming. This is where things get interesting. Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 comes with the Adreno 840 GPU. This thing is seriously strong. It can push 4K gaming at 120 FPS and still stay stable. It's very good at handling big games like Genshin Impact, Warzone Mobile, and Fortnite without random frame drops. Dimensity 9400 uses the Mali G25 Immortalis GPU. It runs at a higher frequency, 1612 megahertz, which is actually higher than Snapdragon's GPU, plus it has faster memory. So in GPU heavy games, especially ones optimized for Mali, Dimensity looks really good. But what you actually feel while gaming? Snapdragon equals smoother long-term gaming, better thermal control, fewer drops during long sessions. Dimensity, super fast loading, great graphics quality, and amazing performance when the game is optimized for Mali. But if you're playing for two hours straight, Snapdragon tends to stay cooler and more stable. Now let's talk about AI and camera. Both chips are monsters when it comes to AI. Snapdragon's Hexagon NPU is insane at AI photography. Cleaner night photos, better HDR, and some of the best real-time video stabilization in any phone. Dimensity's NPU 890 is super powerful for things like filters, object detection, fast image editing, and social media effects. Both support up to 320 megapixel cameras, and both can shoot 8K 60 FPS. In short, you can't go wrong with either. The main difference depends on the phone maker's software tuning. Battery life and heat. Since both chips are built on 3 nanometers, they use less power and stay cool. But Snapdragon has one little advantage, better thermal stability meaning after long gaming sessions, Snapdragon maintains its performance for a longer time, while Dimensity sometimes gets a bit warm during GPU-heavy tasks. For normal daily usage, browsing, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, both chips give long battery life and smooth performance. Real-world everyday experience. 
If you open many apps, switch between them, edit videos, or play big games, Snapdragon feels a bit snappier. If you mainly game and your games are GPU heavy or you want faster loading thanks to that higher memory speed, Dimensity feels great. Both are super fast, both are overkill for social media apps, both handle anything you throw at them. So what's the final verdict? If you want the absolute best overall performance, the best long gaming sessions, the best thermal control, and smoother multitasking, go with Snapdragon 8 Gen 5. If you want slightly better GPU frequency, faster memory, great single core performance, and you play games optimized for Molly, go with Dimensity 9400. Honestly, it's a win-win. Both processors are beasts in 2025. The only difference is what kind of user you are. Snapdragon, stable power, multitasking king. Dimensity, GPU speed, fast memory, and great daily smoothness. Either way, you're getting a flagship level experience.